Hello, it's me again. Um, I made a video earlier criticizing Bobby Lashley and stuff and saying two people who I thought should, uh, TNA should look into getting. Um, one of them was RVD, and one of them was Brian Danielson. Well, then I came into uh, my office and I got a couple of DVDs, some wrestling DVDs that I plan to at least listen to uh, while working. And I looked at one of the DVDs, and on the cover, it had someone that if I would have remembered, I would have mentioned. Now where did I put the DVD? There it is. One guy that sh I think should be picked up. There's one guy that WWE's overlooked, one guy TNA's overlooked. One guy, even Ring of Honor, uh, is overlooked, and I don't think Ring of Honor ever gave him a fair shot. And it's this guy, right there, Mike Quackenbush. Mike Quackenbush, who's wrestled, who has wrestled in Ring of Honor, um, IWA Mid South, uh, Chikara, and he's an amazing athlete. And I don't really understand why he doesn't get the recognition that he truly deserves putting out putting out great matches time in time out regardless of where he goes there's been some uh, criticism at of certain wrestlers um, going big and certain companies and um, not getting me at all uh, when it comes to other companies um, Mike Quackenbush he's gone big every time that I've seen him perform um, a lot of times I have seen him in IWA, but other places too, and I think that that effort should be rewarded with a TNA contract. I think he definitely has a good personality, a good gimmick to uh, that would interest TNA fans, or WWE fans, or even Ring of Honor fans, and the fact that he hasn't been a uh, truly used to his full potential is quite sad.